Colleen Barnes. I'm the Conservation and Administration Officer for Trust for Nature's Ned's Corner Station. It was established in 1849 by Edward Baggett. It has been a pastoral grazing property since then, right through up until 2002 when Trust for Nature purchased the property. They removed all stock off it and it's been managed for land conservation since. Hi, my name is Peter Barnes and I manage Trust for Nature's property, Ned's Corner Station. Ned's Corner is special because it's one of the largest privately owned properties left in Victoria. It's very important because we are now starting to see the good results from all our efforts since 2002 when Trust for Nature bought the property. Things that find at Ned's Corner is just amazing. There's lots of special plants. We have a Senecio that we found last year that only been reported three times in Victoria. Uh, we had the Southern Hairy Nose Wombat that popped up after the 2011 flood. Kangaroos and emus, reptiles, shinglebacks and bearded dragons are more commonly seen day to day, but we also have some pretty special animals like little mammals, Giles Planticale and flat fat tailed Dunnart. And we've seen birds migrating in that weren't around the property before. We have some pretty special flora on the property. Some of the plants that we find are only actually found in this area. We continually find new plants for Victoria and some of those are like the black seed daisy and sunray daisy and they're only found on Ned's Corner. It's pretty special to see them coming up. Year after year we get a new plant that will appear and that makes it great. The things that people love about Ned's Corner is the vastness of it and the tranquility. They love to hear the conservation stories on the property, which are now positive, they're good stories. They love the history of the property and just generally enjoying the tranquility. Working here at Ned's Corner is, is fantastic. You have your wide open spaces, you have your beautiful night skies, and this whole area is my office, so not many people get that, and um, it's, just, it's just beautiful country. We're a not-for-profit organisation, so we do rely quite heavily on philanthropic donations. The things that make Trust for Nature important to not only Victoria, but Australia, is that they have the capability of uh, protecting biodiversity on properties through covenants and even though Ned's Corner Station is the largest property they own, every acre that can be protected for biodiversity is critical. People should support Trust for Nature because of the work we do. So with, with so much of Victoria cleared for cropping and grazing and and things. Um, preserving what we have left is really, really important to Australia. All the people involved with it are very passionate about what they do and it just gives you a good vibe about the work that you're doing yourself. I am very lucky to have the honour of managing Ned's Corner Station, which is one of their larger properties, and seeing biodiversity improving and looked after forever. Ned's Corner is a fantastic place, uh, being part of the bigger picture of Trust for Nature, so preserving property for the future.